Now we got our initial rectangle done, we can do some erasing. So first of all, we can erase Temple Grandin. We can also erase our guidelines here. We know everything is correct. So now we need to give SpongeBob a thickness. So if I look here, I got the width, the thickness is 100 millimeters for this original initial block here. So I'm gonna go back here. And this, anytime we're working to give something a thickness, we wanna be an isometric. So I'm gonna go front right ISO view. So I'm gonna click on this one. You can see this is just a sheet of paper yet that we've drawn so far. And now we're going to a thickness. So I click the tool right below the rectangle tool, it's called the push pull tool. It's that one there. Revolve and offset is below it. Click, and I start dragging out. And this is one of those times that I want to drag way too far. I know this is way too thick. Because if I go right here and I get close, I won't be able to see it move. But if I go way too thick and I just click it, and then I type 100 and hit enter, I know it moved to the correct distance. So there we just added the thickness to it. So I am gonna come back and check all of my dimensions. So now we're gonna go down to the tape measure tool. And I'm gonna go right below the tape measure tool is a dimension tool, or right underneath the tape measure tool is a dimension tool. How the dimension tool works is three clicks. Where I wanna measure from, where I wanna measure to, and then I gotta place the dimension. If I look at SpongeBob here, I'm gonna do this in the, all in the front view here. So I wanna measure from this corner of his head, right here, to this corner of his head in the front view, and bring it up above and place it. Then I'm gonna measure from this corner of his head to this corner of his head and bring it off to the side. So we are gonna come back, click, click, bring it up. Click, click, bring it out. 300 by 400. And I am ready to go on that. I have to change something a little bit. There we go. So now it kind of looks like what yours looked like. Parallel projection, we're ready to go there. Now I want to go to the top view. So that's right above the front view. And I'm going to go click click and bring it out. I can see this other dimension. I can't see the bottom one, but that's fine. When I go to ISO, I can see all three dimensions, 300 by 400 by 100, and that's all perfect. And I'm gonna hit save, and I'm done with dimensions. My next video will be in case you have something messed up.